Is the Xiaomi Redmi Note the best budget phablet like what others say? Is it something that is worth every penny of the 160 bucks you spent on it? Is the experience on the device as good as something like a flagship device? Let's find out in this full review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note. Bounds. Of course, the Redmi Note isn't by any means a flagship from the Chinese company. Rather, it's an affordable solution to those who want a bigger screen with a cheap price tag. Although it has a cheap price tag, do not underestimate the device as it sure does packs in a lot, despite the price. It has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, a 5.5 inch 720p display, and is powered by MediaTek's octa core processor. The only major flaw of the device is that it still runs Android 4.2.2 Jellybean, which means that it is fairly old, but the custom MIUI skin does a good job in keeping the user interface fresh to the user. The Redmi Note resembles the original Redmi, in a bigger and supersized version of the Redmi 1S. The Note is pretty heavy, featuring a 5.5 inch screen with a plastic build, coming in at a weight of 199 grams. Although the weight sure does help the device to feel solid, it can be a little bit heavy and large, compared to other flagships like the LG G3, which has a similar screen size. That said, it doesn't mean that Xiaomi did not pay any attention to how the Note was designed. The Note has a glossy white plastic body, and the phone feels just like any other plastic phone on the market. The color choice of white sure is the right one, as it sure does help hide those ugly fingerprint smudges you would expect from glossy plastic devices. However, the back cover is removable, and you can swap out any black cover for the design and colors that you might fancy. The device has rounded corners, which fits well in your palms. If you're using the device to play games or consume media, you will find that it's pretty comfortable to grip. One thing to note, the plastic sure does feel a little bit greasy and oily after some use due to the fingerprints and skin oils left behind. Under the hood, the Redmi Note is powered by a MediaTek MT6592 octa-core processor clocked at 1.7GHz. There are two versions of the phone though, both have the same chips but are clocked at 1.4GHz and 1.7GHz, and with 1GB and 2GB of RAM respectively. My review unit is the one with 2GB of RAM. The device boosts a 8GB of internal memory, but the device has micro SD card expansion up to another 32GB of space. Lastly, the device does not pack in 4G connectivity, but the phone supports 3G, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Like all of Xiaomi handsets, the Note comes with MIUI, which is Xiaomi custom skin on top of Android operating system, in this case, Android 4.4.2. One of the main features users will notice once they use the device is the absence of the app drawer like you will see from other Android devices. This means that all apps appear in the pages in MIUI. Software features also include Teams and a light mode which makes the phone much easier for people to use with visual impairments or aren't too tech savvy. For me, the MIUI is easy enough for almost everyone to use as it's almost similar to iOS. However, as this is an Android device, I won't say I love MIUI as the absence of the app drawer really makes it feel like it isn't Android at all. For me personally, I would rather just slap on a custom launcher like what I did here with the Redmi Note. Given the price of the phone, you would expect that Xiaomi just slap on a cheap camera sensor and call it a day. However, this isn't the case here with the Redmi Note. While the camera does not have built-in optical image stabilization, the rear 13 megapixel camera is as fast as those in high-end flagships. The camera, however, lacks a backside illuminated sensor, so don't expect your low-light shots to turn out great just like those high-end flagship cameras. As for the image quality, it sure does pack in a lot of detail. The shot has a pleasant depth of feel and it improves overall image quality. The camera does not have comes with any special tricks but comes with the standard camera stuff just like filters, panorama mode, and HDR. The Note, of course, comes with the 8-core processor. Unlike Samsung Exynos octa-core chips, which rotates between 4 cores to run the device, the Redmi Note uses all 8 cores to run the device. Xiaomi's MIUI is pretty well optimized and there are not much sluggishness when, you, when navigating throughout the UI of the phone. Although there will be some lag when typing on the device, maybe because I'm not used to something like the Redmi Note. Overall, the performance is superb for something like the Redmi Note, which is a budget device. 
I had no problems making and receiving phone calls on the device. I could hear others on the other side, crisp and clear. Users also reported that they can hear me well enough, and there is not much difference compared to something like the iPhone 5S. The note speaker volume is also sufficiently loud, although the speaker is located at the rear of the device. The Redmi Note packs a 3,200 mAh battery, and the battery should easily last a full day, or even into the second day with use of a single charge. There are some power settings that let you configure the way you use your device so as to maximize your device's battery life. Although the Redmi Note is only available in mostly in the Asian markets, I would still recommend you to get it from third-party retailers if you're really interested in a budget tablet. As always, Xiaomi sure does pack in a lot in their devices, including this one, in a cheap price point. As the Note does not have 4G, it shows where Xiaomi cut corners to achieve the cheaper price point of the Redmi Note. If you're really interested in getting into the Android ecosystem without paying a premium, go for the Redmi Note. If you want to experience Android on a big screen, go for it. If you just want a device that is good for media consumption and does not want to pay much for a phone, go for it. There are many, many more reasons why you should go for the Redmi Note. To me, this is sure is the best budget tablet out today, and you will be happy once you get your hands on it. All right, that's about it, folks. If you guys enjoyed this video, do leave it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, thanks for watching, and of course, peace out, guys. Yeah.